Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Tom Peter, and today we're gonna to be doing a barbell workout for strength. You can do this as a follow along with me. We're gonna do things a little bit differently today. Rather than working for time, like most of my videos, we're gonna be working for reps. When working for strength, I prefer to work towards a rep range. For this workout, all you're gonna need is a barbell, some plates, and ideally a rack or some squat stands. Let's get right into the workout. We're gonna kick things off with an empty bar or very light bar warm up. Five exercises, 30 seconds each. We're gonna start with an overhead strict press. We'll go in three, two, one, let's go. Thank you. 
So onto the first section of the workout. We're gonna do the heaviest barbell section first. We're gonna load the weight onto the bar, that you're gonna do 10 reps of a back squat, eight reps of a Romanian deadlift, and six reps of a floor press. We're gonna do three rounds, and we're gonna have a 60 second break in between the rounds. Let's load the bar up. So I'm gonna load up 60 kilograms onto my bar. That should be a weight that I can do fairly comfortably for those, but it'll still be a great workout for me. But you can always change the weight after the first round if you find that you've gone a little bit too light or a little bit too heavy. Got three sections to this workout. A heavy bar section, a moderate weight bar section, and then a light bar section. Let's get going with that heavy bar section. Just putting some wrist straps on, find it more comfortable on those floor press. Okay, nice low tempo. If you can keep vague time with me, it'll give you a good tempo for your sets, but don't worry if you're a little bit off, as long as you get the reps done, that'll do. <sighs> 10 reps back squat. Bring the bar down now. We're gonna do eight reps of Romanian deadlift. If you don't have these bottom JPEGs, just put the bar on the floor. Let's go for those Romanian deadlifts. Nice slow tempo on the way down. Keep the bar close to your body. Two more. Put them on the bottom, ready for my floor press. If you want a bench press, just wheel a bench in. We're gonna go six reps. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, we've got a minute off now. Rest and recover. Got to get this bar back up to the top for those back squats. If you found it a bit too heavy, too light, just adjust the weight until you're getting a nice workout for all of those sets. Whew. I want to take slightly longer rest times today, making sure that we've got that strength focus. So we'll have a minute off and then just a nice relaxed transition between the exercises also. Whew. All right, let's get ready to go. We're back with those 10 back squats.
onto the Romanian deadlift. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. One. Two rounds done, one to go. If you're finding those strict press a little bit too easy, bring your grip in a little narrower and make it a bit harder. Let's get the bar back to the top. Okay, last round now of this section. Ten back squats. Make sure you're using that breathe and brace. So you breathe in before the rep, lock the core in, hold the breath for the rep, release when you get to the end of it. Let's go for those Romanians, eight reps. Six floor press. Let's go. One. All right, good job on that. We're gonna move on to the moderate weight bar section. So I'm gonna take some weight off. I'm gonna go down to 40 kilos, but you're gonna to need to pick a weight that you can do 10 front squat with. You can do a variety of grips, whatever's most comfortable. You need to be able to do eight bent over rows with it. And you have to be able to do six strict overhead press with it.
I'm gonna start with the weight on the top of the rack. A little tip, if you struggle with mobility on that front rack position, if you've got some of these weightlifting straps, you can loop them through here. This helps if you get wrist pain or if you just lack a little bit of shoulder mobility for these front squats. I'm gonna do it like this today because I find this really comfortable way of doing it. It saves my wrists a little bit. Uh, but if you just wanna have a regular front rack position, that's absolutely fine. Okay, let's get going with those 10 barbell front squats. Onto the eight, bent over rows now. And then we're gonna do six overhead strict press. You might find that your strict press is a lot weaker than your other two lifts, in which case feel free to do a push press instead of a strict press, as you should be able to do that with a little heavier weight. Let's take a 60 second break now. We've got another two rounds of this middle section. Like I said, pick whichever uh, front squat position you find most comfortable, whether that's using the straps, you could even zombie squat it. I've got a video on that if you wanna check out how to do a zombie squat or uh, just classic front rack position. All right, let's get ready to go with those 10 front squats. onto the eight bent over row. Strict press or push press. Whew. 
take that rest time. We've got one more round of those free exercises and we move on to the lighter bar section. All right, let's go with those front squats. Eight bent over row. Six strict or push press. Whew. Well done, that's the second section complete. Moving on to a lighter bar section now. We're gonna drop the weight. I'm gonna go down to 25 kilograms. Uh, we're gonna do some split squats, some bicep curls, and some wipers. Sticking to a similar rep scheme, doing 10 per side this time on the split squats. Eight bicep curl curls a nice controlled tempo and we're going to do something called wipers which is a great ab exercise and we're going to do six per side with the wipers with a nice slow controlled tempo making sure we maintain a good back position Let's get started with those split squats. We're gonna do 10 per side. So it's standing in a split position. We're just gonna drop the back knee down to the floor, keeping our feet in this stationary position. Switch them to the other side. Make sure you're controlling that front knee. Let's go. Definitely a burner for the legs. I'm going to do a barbell bicep curl now, taking a nice slow tempo for eight reps. Let's go. Controlling the way down.
Onto the floor now, we're gonna do wipers. So it's gonna be doing leg raises, alternating legs towards each plate. Six per side. Tight core, let's go. Sixty seconds off. We'll go back with those split squats. Bit of a burner on those split squats. I think that was the hardest one. It depends where your strengths are. I think for some people that could be quite a heavy bicep curl, but let's get ready to go. 10 per side. Try and get the back knee nice and close to the floor on these. switching legs. If you really struggle with them, feel free to just do a body weight split, split squat. Let's get those eight bicep curls. Six per side wipers next. Let's just take a short rest. We'll go again, finish that last uh, round of the workout. Back to those split squat bicep curl wipers. And then you're finished. Let's just go into it. Three. Two, one, let's go. 10 reps.
and on the other side. Eight bicep curls. Let's go. Still controlling the way down. All right, final set now. We're going to do those six per side wipers. Let's go. And that's it, workout complete. Something a little bit different today, doing a strength follow along with me talking you through it live for reps. If you enjoyed this style of video, let me know if you wanna see more of it. Also, if you're new to the channel, say hello in the comments section. As always, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video if you enjoyed it. There's a new feature on YouTube called Super Thanks, so if you wanna leave a small tip to help support the channel, that'd be great. Hopefully, see you again soon for another workout.